Hi, my name's Kingsley Long, Head of Instruction here at Clearwater Bay. I'm joined by RNA member and rules official Mr Ian Valentine and professional Sam Mulpey. Uh, we're bringing a new series to you called Rules Around the Bay. Uh, but first let's uh, introduce you to Ian. Ian, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, well I'm obviously delighted to help out at uh, Clearwater Bay during their uh, competitions. Uh, I was uh, initially uh, came to Hong Kong with Dunlop, but had nothing to do with the, the sports company. I was involved with tyres, uh, and uh, was a fanatical golfer in my my early days, and still enjoy the the odd round. And uh, just got involved with rules mainly after I was appointed as chief executive of the Hong Kong Golf Association. Yeah, fantastic. And you've officiated at some pretty big events around the world. Yes, Tell I've, us a couple of those. Yes, I've, I've obviously officiated at the Hong Kong Open, uh, and then I've helped out with the RNA at international events uh, around the world. So it's it's been great fun and good experience and totally enjoyed it. Fantastic. Well, it's always been great having you here over the last few years. Um, okay, so yeah, I think um, what we're going to do, we're going to go around a few popular spots here where people tend to find themselves, where maybe you're kind of a little bit unsure over some of the rules and the procedures. So we're going to go to a few of them spots and Ian's going to show us uh, how about we, we take the drops or the relief and the, the correct rules for you guys to know. So we'll start with hole one and we'll take it from there. Yeah, so we're now in the first tee. Good morning, Sam. Morning, Today Ian. it's a stroke play competition. Let me give you a copy of today's local rules. Okay, thank you. Uh, and your your scorecard. Can you just uh, exchange your scorecard with your playing partner, please? There you go. Thank Thanks, you very Ian. much. Uh, and just identify the golf ball with your playing partner as well. Uh, Tied to the three with a blue line on it. Great, and just make sure you've no more than 14 clubs in your golf bag. Yeah, there's 14. Okay, in that's fine, great. Okay, so let's go. Sam, you're on the tee. Thanks, Ian. Hi, Ian. Um, am I okay to get a rule in? I'm just here in the blue stakes, but my ball's by the rock, so I can't play. Am I okay to get a drop? Yeah, but hang on a second. I gave you a set of local rules on the first tee. Have you got those? Oh yeah, they're just here. Did you, did you look at them? No, I just put them in my bag. Oh, they're a bit scrunched. Bit disappointing but never mind uh, if you look Sam at your local rules it's got a heading dropping zones oh, yeah and then it's got hole two yeah if you read that it does state that if a ball comes to rest in the area behind the green bounded by blue stakes including the halfway house the player may without penalty drop the ball in the nearer of the two dropping zones provided okay so if you had read that you would have known what to do now there's two dropping zones here there's one over there and one over there by the third tee now the nearest dropping zone is obviously this one so proceed under that dropping zone okay okay so just here in? yeah yeah in the drop zone yeah oh whoa whoa you're not going to drop it like that. The rules have changed, Sam. It's now knee height. Oh, okay. It drops at knee height. Here, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, that ball's now in play. Okay, thanks, Ian. Okay, right. thanks for joining us on segment one of Rules Around the Bay, covering our local rules there. Some good points there. Obviously, read your local rules on the first tee, carry them in your back pocket, keep them handy. Uh, I'm sure that situation's affected many members before. Uh, now we all know what to do. Look forward to seeing you all next time.